Hi, this is Tracy H. Dean. I want to thank you for joining me for another Oracle and Tarot card deck review. And today I'm reviewing the Zillich Tarot. And I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It could be Zillich or Zillich by Christine Zillich. And I love the fact it comes in a nice little tin. Love these little tin enclosed cards. I have a few decks like this. And this is like the most durable how could I say it? The most durable protection uh, packaging you could ever imagine. It's almost indestructible. <laughs> I'm sure if you drop it, it's going to dent, but it's not going to damage the cards inside. So it's a great little addition to having a tin box with your tarot deck. It's almost uh, impossible to destruct. Let's put it that way. Love the tin. And this is going to be a small pocket size deck, which I love small cards. That's why I love Lenormand cards and Kipper cards, because they're smaller than what you would normally get with the Tarot or Oracle. Inside, you're going to have a very basic guidebook, nothing fancy, introduction. It's going to tell you about the Fool's Journey. It's going to go through all 78 cards, no pictures. Uh, brief description, what element uh, the card is associated with, you know, what the meaning is going to be. Um, so it's going to go through a uh, very, very small amount of information, which is fine. And if you're a seasoned reader, you're not even going to need this book. Um, if you're someone new to tarot, you may need to get some supplemental uh, information to help you. And let me just take this plastic off. Boy, they really shrink wrapped this, huh? <laughs> okay. Ooh, okay. <laughs> and the backs of the cards I like. It's an it's a unique design. It's you know shades of blue, green. Okay, a little bit of mauve there. And like I said, they're very small cards. Look at how small they are, but I love it. Tiny cards and borderless, my favorite. So this is going to save me a lot of time and work. I won't have to trim these babies. Okay, and let's take a look. And the pastel artwork of these are absolutely beautiful. Here we have the Fool, the Magus, which is the Magician, the High Priestess. And the cardstock is kind of thin, so you want to be careful with them. They'll be easy to shuffle. The Empress, the Emperor, the Hierophant, the Lovers, the Chariot, Lust, the Hermit, Wheel of Fortune, Adjustment, the Hanged Man, Death, and look at how dark and gloomy that is. Shadowy figure. Temperance, we have her pouring from one chalice to another. The Devil. The Tower. The Star, that's pretty interesting. First, I would think it was the Sun because of the points, you know, in the yellow, but it's the Star. The Moon. The Sun. There's no mistake in that. Justice. The universe. Which would be the world. The Ace of Wands. And you see this wand here. The Two of Wands. Three of Wands. And I don't see any wands on here. Uh, virtue. There's little uh, code words on the little... Uh, Bottom here, uh, keywords, code words. It's been a long day. <laughs> Little keywords on the bottom virtue three of wands, four of wands, completion, five of wands, strife. I would say that's spot on. It may be very challenging for people that are not into uh, reading tarot so much, your beginners, your starters, because it's not going to look like the uh, Rider Wade decks. It's going to be uh, totally different. Six of Wands, victory. We're used to seeing someone, you know, on a horse. Okay. 
and uh, you know, with the six wands and and the wreath hanging and looking like they're victorious on here, you're not going to have that. Seven of Wands, Valor. Okay, so he's kind of defending himself. The Eight of Wands, Swiftness. We're used to seeing, you know, eight wands pointing, you know, for fast movement. I guess this is fast movement. Movement. She's like running with her leg up in the air. Nine of Wands, Strength. Ten of Wands, Oppression. And we're used to seeing someone bent over with the wands on their back, like they're carrying a burden. Here we're not seeing any wands. So we're not going to see, you know, the wands on any of these cards. Uh, like I said, we do have a keyword, which helps with the ten of, ten of Wands, but it may be quite a challenge for someone new at Tarot. And then instead of the pages, we have the princesses. So we have the Princess of Wands. Prince of Wands would be the Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands, Ace of Cups, and again, there's no cup on here. Wait, 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 there's a little cup up here. What am I saying? It's kind of hidden in the artwork, but it's very beautiful. Two of Cups, and we used to two people with cups and, you know, the arms intertwined here. We just have one person. But we do have the keyword love here, but it doesn't necessarily just mean love. There's other meanings to these cards other than what the keywords are. Three of Cups, uh, abundance, which to me, Three of Cups is like celebration. Uh, four of Cups, luxury. Five of Cups, disappointments. Six of Cups, pleasure. Now, to me, Six of Cups is like nostalgia and you know, childhood and thinking back. This has pleasure. So I'll need to read some of the book and more of a definition on the cards to see what they're getting at here. Seven of Cups, debauch. Eight of Cups, indolence. The Nine of Cups, bliss. Ten of Cups, sadia, satiety. Princess of Cups, which would be the Page of Cups. And the court cards don't have any words at the bottom. No keywords. Prince of Cups, Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups, Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, Peace, Three of Swords, Sorrow. So I can get that. Four of Swords, Truce. Five of Swords, Defeat. Six of Swords, Science. Seven of Swords, Futility. Eight of Swords, Interference. Nine of Swords, Cruelty. Ten of Swords, Ruin. Princess of Swords. Prince of Swords. Queen of Swords. Knight of Swords. Ace of Discs, which would be the Pentacles. Two of Discs, Change to me. Two of Discs would be more like Balance. Three of Discs, Work, which I agree with that, would be Work. Four of Discs, Power. Five of Discs, Worry. Six of Discs, Success. Seven of Discs, Failure. Oh, I, I kind of beg to differ on that. Eight of Discs, Prudence. Okay. Nine of Discs, Gain. Ten of Discs, Wealth, I agree with that one. Princess of Discs, which would be Page of Pentacles. Prince of Discs would be Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Discs, and, no, wait a second, Knight of Discs. Queen, Knight, Prince and Princess. Hmm, interesting here. Let me go back here. And you know what? I'm thinking that the Knight of Discs is really going to be like the King of Discs, but actually not. And the Queen of Discs is, of course, the Queen of Discs, the Queen of Pentacles. And the Prince and the Princess, which I'd imagine, I mean, a prince isn't going to be old enough to be a king, and a princess isn't going to be a king either because she's feminine. So very interesting. We're missing kings. I'd assume the meaning of this Knight of Discs would be like a king meaning. 
Very interesting. Challenge for someone who is new at Tarot, but not hard to understand if you are a seasoned reader. I'm very satisfied with my purchase. Uh, sun is going down here. I love using natural light, but it's getting quite dark. Um, it's very easy to shuffle. Uh, very happy with this uh, deck, all in all, and it will be a welcome addition to my ever-growing Tarot collection. If you've enjoyed the reading, please give it a thumbs up, like it, share it, and above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.